Northern India, the end of the harvest, a time when farmers burn their waste in preparation for the next crop. But now an inventor entrepreneur, Ramesh Sundar, has given them a reason to change this century's old tradition. As long as farmers are able to grow plants in the fields, they will be able to generate waste. Bricketing people are able to pay the, for the waste. We join Ramesh on a journey to find out more about his groundbreaking invention. Now we are reaching to the bricketing plant, biomass bricketing plant, where you will see how the biomass fuel briquettes are being made. Production plants to compress agricultural waste into biomass briquettes are not new in India, but demand has been limited to fueling kilns to fire bricks. Now Ramesh has invented a new stove, the Sanjachula, which can run off the very same biomass briquettes and which should make the technology much more marketable. And Sanjachula is basically equipment which, is, uh, which works on biomass briquettes and is, it has no smoke, no ash and gives maximum possible efficiency. Uh, we arrived at a school where I have installed Sanjachula uh, six months back. Come with me. I will show you how it works. We have seen the briquettes at the bricketing plant. I will show how these are being used in Sanjachula. The Sanjachula cooker saves money by burning the fuel and using the heat efficiently. Inside of this is first pot. It's called first pot and uh, combustion is going on. Three electric fans blow air into the cooker, feeding the briquette with a constant supply of oxygen and ensuring smoke-free maximum combustion. The same heat goes to the, below the water tank. The fixed 450-litre water tank provides hot water on tap. The walls of the cooker are heavily insulated. And the heat is not escaping from the chula and uh, you are not facing any uh, accidental fire. Ramesh has installed 12 cooker stoves in special boarding schools for children in rural areas as part of a deal with the local education authority to replace the old stoves that were fueled by liquid petroleum gas. The total expenditure on Sanja Chula was almost half of the expenditure we were incurring on LPG. If we spend more on fuel, then the quality of food is supposed to be go down. And if we use this biomass, then we can enhance the quality of food and good for health of the students. This plate is empty because the food is very tasty. So I like all the food, especially this chapati. It is very delicious, lovely. After paying the cost of Sanja Chula, we can provide quality food and a nutritious diet to our children from our savings. The success of the Sanja Chula stove has been beneficial all round. As the stove is used almost daily, the demand for biobass briquettes has rocketed and both the plant and farmers are able to make more money. We used to burn the waste in our fields. Now we are happy that we have a bricketing plant nearby as we are able to sell our waste to them. For my fields, I am able to get between four and 5,000 rupees for this waste. So far, the only drawback is the cost of the Sanjachula and lack of investment from the bank. So Ramesh has funded it himself. The cost of Sanjachula is high. So I installed the equipment free of cost to them initially on saving and payment basis. So they pay me monthly. So uh, my cost is being paid within a one year time. Fortunately, Ramesh is a finalist for the Ashton Awards. Right now, what, with, with my own money, I am able to have capacity of one equipment in a two month time. See, now if I'm getting this Ashton money and the first price, I'll be able to have capacity of five equipment in a month time. So that will make a lot of difference to me. The environmental benefits of the Sanjachula are clear. It replaces imported fossil fuels with a locally produced carbon neutral source of energy and can prevent emissions from the burning fields. Approximately 300 million tonnes of crop waste is produced in India every year and there are thousands of institutions, army bases, prisons and plantations which need large-scale cooking facilities. Worldwide, the demand is great too. We are sure on one day we will run out of petrol. Sanja Chula will always be working on biomass. And mankind will be never have a shortage of biomass.